So now in this video, we come to my op amp a stable multi vibrator. So the output is just bouncing back and forth from high and low. I rewired this a bit from the video where I showed the demonstration because I had a jumper uh, coming down for the capacitor, but uh, I needed those two spots to plug in the uh, jumpers that uh, I have my oscilloscope probes uh, connected to. And we will zoom in. I'm gonna do something right there because we're running on battery. This display is gonna go in sleep mode. So we are actually working with uh, five volts. The power supply is providing five volts. You can see that uh, right there. The uh, These are the two uh, signals that we're uh, working with. So the green one is obviously a charging and discharging uh, capacitor because uh, they don't really get an instant voltage change unless you got unlimited current um, and usually you got uh, limited current going through a uh, capacitor and so it charges up and now it's uh, discharged. You can see that it's taking about twice as long I'm gonna do that again just to keep it from going to sleep mode it's taken um, I'm guessing about twice as long to charge as uh, discharge looks like it may even be longer than that and that does uh, make sense. The uh, capacitor is going to charge when the output is high and uh, with the LM358 op amp uh, the the uh, output doesn't go high as well it goes low so it's probably providing less voltage it's taking less or taking longer for the capacitor to charge because you need current for it to charge more current the faster it charges hopefully that makes sense um, so yeah we'll uh, zoom over here and uh, you can see that uh, we got uh, two resistors there, positive and negative supply. That's our uh, voltage divider. It's trying to give us half of the supply voltage, but we also have the output uh, right there that is being fed back to it with the 10K resistor there. So when the output is high, it raises that voltage. When the output is low, it lowers that voltage and it does it instantly. Um, so that's why you see the straight jump up and then it holds, straight jump down. Um, so that doesn't set the... Uh, timing that uh, up and down um, but it does make it so that it's instant right there uh, whereas the capacitor has to charge and then discharge so when the uh, capacitor is charging and it gets up to that voltage the output goes low and it jumps low and the capacitor starts discharging until it gets to the point um, that uh, we have set here because that's the plus and uh, the output wants to be more like the plus than the minus so once the minus finally uh, catches up to the plus, the uh, plus moves and the minus starts moving towards it again until it catches up. It just keeps bouncing back and forth as we can see on there. So we will uh, first, um, let's uh, do the uh, capacitor one right here, uh, blue. So we're not gonna see our capacitor anymore. This is straight and you can see the stray signals my body uh, can provide. That's one reason why you don't wanna touch uh, sensitive integrated circuits because uh, your body may be able to fry them. Uh, but this op amp and 555 timers uh, do pretty well. So uh, that's five volts. I may need to adjust this a little bit uh, to, uh, to get to five um, because we're at the rail, we got five. Oh yeah, that's, uh, I thought it said 5.01. So that may actually be kind of okay because we're losing probably like 0 0.05 volts or something from resistance in the wires and uh, whatnot. Screen went to sleep. And uh, so I press that again. Okay, so yeah, we got, uh, we're up five squares. It's uh, one volt per division. Each square is a division. And uh, now we're gonna look at uh, what the output is doing. So you can see it's just shy of five. And now we're gonna go uh, to the output and I'll have to uh, share a hole. Um, there we go, I actually got it in there. Um, with uh, one of the leads, the uh, lead to the resistor right there. And uh, there you can see, um, the output uh, voltage it's getting uh, close to four but short of four it's not up to uh, five not even close uh, and then yeah it's even or it's doing better um, down here I should say that's why the capacitor is discharging quicker because we are getting a lower voltage at the output um, whether it's uh, at the uh, you know high part or the uh, low part when it comes to the output it's the same resistance that it's uh, going through to get to the timing uh, capacitor. So the uh, 
closer you can get to zero volts, the faster it will discharge. The closer you can get to five volts, the faster it will charge. Since we don't get as close to five volts as zero volts, it's gonna take longer um, to charge to the voltage that we have to get. Um, so yeah, you can see that there. And um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll add a little bit more to that. So that is with a load. This is gonna do better uh, without a load and uh, we can, um, let's see if I can uh, pluck this without uh, removing that jumper. And uh, I'm not watching the screen right now, but uh, I'm guessing when I removed uh, this one, I haven't looked yet, we got all the way to uh, uh, ground. No, all the way to the, uh, not all the way to the positive rail, at least a volt away from the positive rail. Uh, but with uh, this side, when I remove that one, I bet we got all the way to ground. I haven't looked yet, but I got there. So yeah, we're actually not doing as good as I thought. And maybe that's because, uh, yeah, we have this uh, 10K uh, resistor uh, coming coming down here. So that, that may be another reason why um, the output does still have to provide a little bit of uh, power. But yeah, I thought we would get to uh, ground for sure. That's, uh, that's a little uh, bizarre right there. Let's... Uh, yeah, I thought we would we would be doing better than this. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove the uh, capacitor and uh, remove this feedback uh, resistor right there. Get the LED out of the way and that. So yeah, now you can see. Um, so green is to ground. I believe that is the uh, the output. Um, See if it changes. Okay, it's holding steady, so I think that's giving a high signal. There we go. Um, yeah, the output was going to ground, and now it is up there. The other one was our uh, signal. I'll put that to ground so that it's uh, just holding uh, zero. So yeah, we can't get all the way up to five volts no matter what. That is weaker, whereas uh, the output. The output's not powering anything. The, the oscilloscope's just looking at the voltage, where it, as it can go all the way to ground. That was the main takeaway. Um, it's easier for the output to provide current um, down to zero volts. Even if you got a load, it won't get down to zero volts, but it should be able to provide more current, um, at least provide uh, lower voltage than uh, what the output can uh, provide for the higher voltage. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, there you can see, it goes all the way to zero volts, but uh, not all the way to five volts. That's what it would go to if it was a rail to rail op amp. Now rail to rail op amps, um, where the output can go, that full range right there, um, they usually can't provide current either. I don't know if there are any that can provide current. Maybe you just use them to switch uh, transistors, uh, but um, you know, a significant current. But I, I bet there, there probably are some that can power, but I bet they're expensive. But uh, yeah, in any case, I thought I would do another oscilloscope a video. Luckily, I don't really have to charge this yet, but this one does discharge over time. Um, but yeah, the plug is kind of weird, and uh, I got to work around like the power supply with it. So I just figured I would do, use battery right there. Otherwise, I just got to hold, hold the button down, and it will turn off. But uh, yeah. I kind of mangled this. We can uh, look at uh, the uh, schematic. So now it took a little while to uh, find this and get it set up. So I just edited out that other stuff. Plus I had to change some of the lighting settings on the camera because we have white here instead of a, a black meter. And uh, But yeah, in any case, there we got our op amp. We're only using one out of two of them. We're just leaving this one floating, but you should wire it as a voltage follower with no load uh, uh, voltage follower connected to ground. But uh, in any case, there's the uh, capacitor we got that is charging and discharging. We got, uh, this tries to keep it in equal voltage, but uh, the output, um, you know, gets as close to five volts as it can, which we saw was a uh, pretty short of five volts, even when we removed this load uh, right there. And um, so that's something to keep aware of. Uh, but yeah, it raised the voltage when the output was high and would charge the capacitor until the capacitor got up to the voltage we got set there. Then the output would go low, drop in that voltage, discharging the capacitor until it got to the lower voltage of that one. Because the output always wants to be uh, more like this input than that input. If you wire this upright, you can get it uh, 
where um, the outputs directly to the inverting input and um, so then it will hold uh, whatever voltage is at the non-inverting input um, no matter what uh, but we didn't do that we added a resistor here it takes time to catch up where uh, the voltage is here and then uh, the output flips changing the voltage in the opposite direction so then it takes time to get down there as as we saw before and I do have a 470 ohm resistor protecting the red LED um, just because uh, yeah I think it was to limit how much current needs to come from the output but yeah we could go up to 9 volts thanks to that I showed that in the last video thanks to that resistor value could easily go up to uh, 9 volts um, you know the red LED is dropping some of the voltage so is the output as we saw you know quite a bit so even at 9 volts uh, that resistor is probably not going to get near as high as it normally would if we just put 9 volts across the resistor and the uh, LED. But uh, yeah, went on long enough. Hope you enjoyed. People don't seem to like these oscilloscope videos. I don't get many views. Um, but I thought I would make another one anyways. Um, so thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.